What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today, Rob, Melanie, and Justin are going to play through the cooperative one to four player game of Mayhem and Mystery uh, Arkham Horror Final Hour uh, by Fantasy Flight Games. We got a early limited copy from Gen Con 2019 and we're going to play through this thing for you on the channel here so you can see it. We are using the recommended Cthulhu old one here that they say to use when you're playing for your first time. Mm -hmm. We're going to play on the easy difficulty for setup. And we're going to walk through the setup here with you guys first, uh, so you understand what is going on. And uh, we'll talk about who we're playing. So I am playing Rita Young. Mel? I'm playing Jenny Barnes. Justin? I'm Ashcan Pete. All right. So let's get down to the table, and we'll walk through the setup. All right. So we have our Miskatonic University board here with our orange section, our purple section, and our green section, and all of our different locations within them. Uh, we are going to walk through the setup here, uh, so I have our handy dandy little uh, quick reference. Uh, does that walk me through setup? Nope. nope. Yeah, of course it doesn't. <laughs> uh, all right. And the reference card? Nope, doesn't either. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to set up here. Uh, so we got the game board. We choose our investigators. Already talked about that. The monster cup. We are using a little dice bag here we have for the monsters that are shuffled up in here. You can use a cup. The board uh, game lid it recommends in the rule book. If you don't have a cup to put the regular monsters in, they are in here. They've been shaken up and shuffled. Next is choose an ancient one. We just talked about that. We have Cthulhu and his little special monsters are deep ones and star spawns. So star spawns here, they are three <coughs> damage and they are wreckers. So they will wreck twice. Uh, that's not going to zoom in, of course. But anyways, uh, and the old ones, they'll just move around the board. They are one damage. Uh, okay. And then we will resolve the ancient one setup. So we're going to do what it says. So we, we have our special monsters and we flip the card over out here. Actually, it'll walk us through on the back. Um, so we, for easy or normal difficulty, uh, we place the ritual token in humanities building number 12, which is here. It's this little exclamation point. So that has been done. Uh, the next thing is place one of each gate token in the locations indicated. So we have our gate tokens here. We just got to find one of each symbol. So the star is going to go in number 15 up here in the sorority row. Okay. Uh, the little 3D cube thing is going to go in building number 8, which is the science building over here on the right. And then the little radioactive three circle symbol is going to go into hall number 1. And that is Dorothy Upman Hall. And then we flip these over and we're going to uh, then for easy spawn one deep one uh, at the little radioactive gate up here. So I'm going to line that up there. Okay. And then spawn two monsters in each other location except the ritual locations and the gate location. All right, so, so two up here. Two everywhere except for ritual and those those gates. Okay. okay. Then I'm going to shuffle up these gates. Whoops, I'm flipping them over by accident here. So we'll shuffle them up. I think it's a remove one yep. first, right? So that we have eight to indicate our rounds we're going to do. So I'll just put them in a stack here in a little random order. Whoops, I'm knocking them over here. Two, right? You said in each? Yep. Okay. Okay. Just making sure I'm not. Yeah, that should be eight. It's going crazy. You here. should have just one extra. Yeah. Yep. One extra gate. This is going to go away into the box, not to be played with. So I have eight gate tokens here. Once the last gate token is done, we have to try to end the ritual. And that is the main thing in the game to win is stopping the evil ritual that's happening. But there are three ways to lose. You lose by either the ritual location, getting overrun with monsters, where that's at the point it's full of monsters, all four monsters here in these four spaces. And you go to place a new monster there that would end the game we would fail uh, if we lose all four of our health. So each one of these four little heart tokens, they can be flipped over to become gray tokens. And if we ever flip over the last one for one of our investigators, one player dies, basically, game over. Or if we fail to guess the ritual. So we are going to set up the ritual now. And how we're going to do that, we have our little symbols. So these symbols are at the bottom of the board here. Uh, on the board, they are this little clover, diamond, star, moon, and hourglass symbol. Uh, they are on the bottom of these little clue tokens, okay? They're all accounted for. So we have 10 of them here. I'm going to flip them over, and we shuffle them up. And try not to look. Everyone look away while I shuffle so you didn't see those ones we flipped. Okay, then I'm going to pick this one, and I'll pick this one. And these two under here are what we need to guess. We need to deduce what is under here to reverse the ritual and stop it. So when we decide to at the end of any round or when these gate tokens are completely depleted, so at the end of possibly the eighth round, but there are ways those can be depleted earlier to speed up the game, we then guess uh, by using cards, our uh, priority cards, these cards, 
have little symbols on them. And we can guess by picking three out of the four from our hand, and we add up all the, so if we play three each, that's six cards, nine cards total, mm -hmm. but we're looking for two times the amount of players. So we're looking for six icons on all of nine of our cards, at least six that match the, the symbols that are on these two when they're revealed. Uh, so we are now going to, uh, so we picked our two. So then you're gonna add these three keys, which have the same clue token back. They are gonna be item cards that can be found by investigating these locations, not just getting those symbols. So we're gonna all look away while I kind of shuffle and I just knock the pile of eight things over. <laughs> this is a mess. All right, let me just pile it back up. You're trying to do a blind. Yeah, okay. So now I'm just gonna place these around at all the spots that don't have a ritual marker or a spawn. So let's just grab them out. Mel, if you wanna grab some and place them out. It's nuts. Uh, where's the one missing? Right here. All right. So now the clues, these symbols are mixed out in those clues along with items. So we are hoping to investigate those spots and then you place them on these spots to cancel out what these could be. So then we try to make our guesses more targeted and hopefully find out what these are. But at the same time, we're trying to do that in a certain amount of time. You're trying to manage your priority card symbols. You're trying to keep the enemies from swarming the ritual space and we're trying not to die. All this craziness is all happening in this 30 to 60 minute game. So, uh, that is all I think for setup. We prepared the stack, clues we just did, deal priority cards. So we shoveled these up earlier. Uh, one, two, three. So we all get four. Okay. There we go. Nice cards. And how it works then, we are going to, so lead investigator, who do we want to be first? Does it matter? No, nope, doesn't matter. I'll go first. Sure. Okay. Okay. Then so we got our health tokens <clears> distributed, <throat> and then we shuffled item decks and item deck, and well, we got to place our investigators all starting at the ritual location in the humanities building. So as many investigators you want can be at the same location. It does not matter. Okay. So first things first. Here's how a turn goes. The turn starts with the action phase. So first we play priority cards. So what you do off your shuffle deck, uh, so we'll shuffle our character decks, starting with me as the lead Again. investigator. We'll just make sure it's all nice and shuffled. Yeah. So as the lead investigator, I draw the top card, I look at the top card, and it has a top action and a bottom action. Now I'm deciding what initiative that's gonna go in based on the priority cards from my hand. And these are secret. You can't tell anyone else what priority cards you're holding. These are what we use to guess at the end of the game. They're also what we use to play each round to determine when our card resolves in turn order. So if I decide I really want to get the top of my card to go, I have to be one of the first two of the priority order because it will go lowest number priority all the way up to the highest. And the first two cards will do the top action and the bottom two, or the last two cards will do the bottom two action, or do the bottom action on both those cards. So I look at my card, I decide, is the top going to help us a lot? Is the bottom gonna help us? Which one do I really want it to do? If I want the top, I play a low number. If I want the, the bottom, I do a high number. But I go, I place my number down face up. They get to see it. We cannot discuss with each other any strategy during this turn until your card is revealed. Then you're allowed to discuss strategy. So I'm just gonna go first and that's why they're staying quiet. <laughs> and I will place, I'll actually read my card. <laughs> Good idea. That's helpful. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm looking at the board. I'm obsessing the top of my card. Uh, seeing where I am. Okay, so I'm going to place my card down. Now, I'm going to pick one of the cards in my hand. And sometimes you'll look at the cards in your hand and you'll say, okay, some of these symbols that I might think are here, those become very valuable and you want to keep those. So sometimes you're forced to play a card that may be suboptimal, but just to get it out of your hand because maybe you've determined the stars. You've covered both here with your clue tokens that you've uncovered by investigating. You may think, stars are useless now. I don't need them for the end of the game. So you might just play a star on it, even though the number might not be where you want it to be. But hopefully the other players work around it correctly. But sometimes things just go crazy and wrong, which is the whole <laughs> the whole hook of this game is it's chaos. Too Whoa. much stuff is going on. So there's randomness. Crazy. There's We can't discuss strategy when we're picking cards. It's just a madness. And it's fun. Uh, okay. Just pure fun. That's, yep. how, that's how it is. Okay. So not, I'm sorry. Go, no, ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, not being able to discuss strategy is very difficult. You can once your card once is revealed. You can, so but you, you want to say so much. Agreed. But you so can't. You always play four cards. So since I'm lead investigator, I will play a card, plop a number down on it, 
Then it'll go clockwise around. Justin will do it. Mel will do one. Then it'll come back to me to do the fourth card. So I can see what numbers they've placed on their priority cards. And I can decide to adjust based on that. And you can always look at the card you played down. So I could look at my previous one and kind of figure out what's what. Okay, so I want to play... Uh, I will put a 21 with a clover and one little eyeball symbol. Now these eyeball symbols on the front of the Cthulhu, Cthulhu card, uh, it will tell you on here, I don't know if we can get you to see this here, but see there is, um, this is how bad it is. So if we reveal so many eyeballs there on the left, one to two, rising tide happens, three to four, glimpse relay happens, and five to six, waking nightmare, then seven plus relay risen. So if one to two of those little eyeballs revealed, each, uh, uh, activate each deep one, which we have one on the board, in any order, and then we spawn two at that gate. The glimpse relay, the lead investigator loses one health. During the next round, the investigators must play their priority cards face down. So you can't use the numbers of the symbols to, you know, determine how you're going to play. And then after all they're played, we flip them face up. Then the waking nightmare, you spawn one star spawn. That's the big, big wrecker guy in there in the bottom right of the card. Then you activate one of your choice. And then the end, each investigator loses two health if you have to do seven or higher. And that's huge because we only have four health each. So if each are losing half half their health at that time. I mean, that could be game over if that yeah. happens after you've already lost previous health. So Justin, go ahead, you pick your card, and then you place a token on top. And we'll speed this up as we go along. Obviously, if you guys know what you're doing, you can kind of do it, you know, have you read your card ahead of time, and then just don't place it with a number until the, the player before you has done so. Yeah, so I'll just start reading my card while he's reading his. And if you have any questions or you know if we maybe goofed up any rules or have any questions about anything here in this video, please leave it in the comments below. That way people watching this video in the future can learn from our mistakes or let us know any strategies you guys have. That'd be great. So just to slap down a three with a star and two eyeballs. Oh boy. Eyeballs would be getting high. I'd be eyeballing. I'm not sure what that symbol actually is called, but... Omen icons. Omen, yeah. They're omen icons. There you go. We call them uh, eyeballs. Did you draw when you played? Oh, no, I did not. I did not draw a priority card back up to four, and, and that is important. Justin, Justin will draw. one also, Thank and you. I will not look at it. Whoa, oh. there you go. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. It landed safe. It landed safe. And then safe. I will draw, and oh, then you are boy. good to draw your second card. Uh, okay, so I will draw my second player card here. And I played an 11 with a clover. So we have a 3, 11, and a 21. So it looks like I'm trying to go late, Justin trying to go early. Mel's trying to go somewhere in the middle. <laughs> the numbers actually go from 1 to 30, and there's one of each card. So you kind of know if Justin drops a 3, if I want to beat that and go early, I need to drop a 2 or 1, and maybe I don't even have that. So maybe nobody has that yet. Uh, okay, let's see here. So you want to go early. You want to go fairly early, I think. Hmm. <laughs> I took the cards out. If I want to go late, I just have to beat 11. And I'll play no Omen Icons, a star, and number 13. Okay. All right, so let's start with number three. Justin's going to reveal his card. All right, here we go. <clears throat> it's uh, the Vision of the End Times. Move up to one time. If there are two Omen Icons on the priority card you played with this action, you may move to any location instead. Whoa. Then seal one walkway connected to your location. Wow. Where so, would you like to go? I'm going to... Oh, I can't talk. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no discussing strategy. That's oh, that enough. was, yeah. But make sure he's doing things yeah, correctly. that wasn't really strategy. <laughs> yeah, you just can't discuss strategy. But if you notice he's putting himself in the wrong spot or moving two spaces, make sure only moving one or right. something like that, or, you know, right. feel free to hit him up. <laughs> so the seal tokens, they are these yellow ones, they can be... Put down to block walkways. I guess I didn't talk about I'm walkways. I'm just looking at the color on this. Yep. yep that's so blue. walkways connect spaces, uh, buildings here, and they make it adjacent. So that's how players use the walkways, the little gray, little gray walkways to go. Uh, and the player can seal off one of those walkways. So if a monster is moving along one, they will run into it and die. And it actually then goes to like a broken state. And then they can hit it. And once the next monster dies, uh, it actually goes off the board. So that's what Justin's going to do. Monsters move. So they're red and they're blue. We should talk more about monsters. But red will move along the red lines to the next space when they move. And blue ones will follow the blue space. Or the blue arrows, sorry, off their space to the next space. There are three-ish types of monsters. Kind of four regular monsters. There's these little guys with just the one hits that don't have any ability. They just kind of chill. There's ones with the arrows. They're like runners. They, they go from space to space. There is the ones with the little heads here. They're killers. They try to hit and kill and damage an investigator out their space. And then there's the wreckers with the little building in the right, bottom right corner. They will actually damage spaces with these damage tokens and kind of 
fill up spaces to make monsters not be able to chill there and push them forward along their paths eventually to our ritual space. And yes, you can repair damage spaces and you can seal off walkways. Yep, sealing. Cool. That's great. That's what I'm going to do right <laughs> now. Yeah. So I'm Show us here. Just. And I can seal Was that one. two spaces, or you can move anywhere? Anywhere. I want. Yeah, because he played the two I two omen. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So I move to any location. So I'm gonna do this and then block. Okay. So this. you're gonna seal off the blue path from yeah. the Dorothy here Upman there. Hall yeah. over to the sorority row number fifteen in the orange. And then my turn is done. Okay. So I think I'm next with eleven. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I played a color for all seasons. Resolve the following effects in any order. Move up to one time and seal a walkway connected to your location. So I could seal before I move, or I can move and then seal. Um, I think I would like to seal first to protect our uh, ritual location. So I <laughs> will seal this way. And then I will move one. I'm going to move up. I don't want to be here in case they um, the red gets to move and then hit me. Okay. So I'll move up there. We well, could have sealed that way to stop them from moving in. <laughs> Just I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> no talking. No, no, no but, strategy discussion. No but strategy. Just my thought. She's not going to go back. On no, no, no. Just but just my thought is these guys aren't moving. They don't have move icons, so they're not going to move up. But this guy Are does have a move. But when a space gets I'm talking full, to them of why when a space I... gets full though. Uh, monsters. Yes. Or when the damage guy starts busting up this building, these guys True. will take off. True. But that's why I chose that one awesome. for so now. I'll go 13. Yep. And I'll do the bottom since I'm the third card to go here. I'll move one time, then investigate your location. So, uh, Reedy Young is going to move down to here. And let's investigate. Yes. All right, the moon. So we know the odds of the moon being under here is now reduced by 50%. Okay. Then, uh, what's it? Then activate monsters in the purple zone, six to ten. So six is over here. We activate. This guy has no symbol on him. Then this guy tries to hit an investigator there. Nobody's there. Then we go on to seven. Uh, this guy has no activation icon. This guy, the red guy, is going to move along the red line up to here. Then we'll go to number eight. Nobody's home. Then number nine. Uh, this guy will move. Mm -hmm. Blue. They go in the order of killers, then runners or whatever they're called. Yes. Then wreckers. And then wreckers. So then the wrecker is just going to, we'll just leave him in this building, but he will start smashing the walls down. And number 10. These guys both have no activation, so they're just chilling over there on the bottom right corner of the board. Perfect. And you're All right, again. And the last card uh, is move one time, then investigate your location. So I'll just move down here to the museum and flip it over. It's a moon. So oh, now moon cards. No we now moons. know there is no moon under here. So if you have moon cards... Throw them away, they're garbage. Uh, <laughs> mm. At least by the time we go to end the ritual, make sure they're tops. That's the idea. Yeah. Okay, and that is that card. Uh, oh, then spawn uh, two monsters spawn at your location. So I will get the monster bag and pull out a monster. There's a red runner, one health. And then a, a blue killer, two health. All right. Okay. So then we go on to the... I just want to make sure it's called right. The Ancient One phase, we're going to do the Reckoning. So we add up our Omen icons, which are three total. Yep. Which the Cthulhu card here says we glimpse relay. The lead investigator loses one health, which is me. That's not Down good. to three out of four. And then during the next round, the investigators must play their priority cards face down. Okay. After all priority cards are played, the investigators flip those cards face up. So these all go to a discard pile beside the priority card deck here. And then we discard our player cards beside our deck. Okay. Then next is the gate. The gate. So the lead investigator flips the top gate. It is going up here to the Upman Hall, number one in the green. So now there is two spawn tokens there on that spot. So we will spawn two monsters in that space. We have a one blue killer. I better get out of there. And <laughs> oh, another no. one blue killer. Oh, All no. right. Yep. So what you're saying is I need to leave. De deadly. Yes. Uh, and then we will pass the lead investigator token. So Justin is now the lead investigator. Oh boy. That's it. So he starts the next round with the action phase. <coughs> Start looking at our cards yep. just to save a little yeah, bit of time. Yeah, just to speed it up, we're going to look at our cards ahead of time, but we will not place them with the priority card until uh, the person before you has done so. Remember, it's face down. Yes, yes, face yes, yes, down. face down. Because we were punished last turn. All right. Like too many omens. There's mine. My first one. Okay. Oh, can I have one of these, please? Yep, yep. Thank you. Give me an omen card. There's your new priority card. Thank you. 
And you can start looking at your second one. <laughs> that doesn't sound fun. This is promising. rough. <laughs> uh, Blind is hard. Yeah, yeah. I know. This is fun. Super fun. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need a new card. You and need Justin a new card, new Justin. Card. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Ready to flip? Yep. So we reveal our priority cards. So I have a four with a moon and one omen. Six. Oh, sorry. Oh. 29 with a moon, no omen. Six with a clover. And 18 with a star, but no nice. omens. Only okay. one omen icon played. So four is first. All right. So I figured I didn't want to move and investigate since I couldn't reach any investigation tokens <laughs> oh, from where okay. I am here. There's no path this way, no path this way. Smarty pants. Only the monsters can move along these lines. There's no walkways. So I am going to move up to two times, try to set up a possible future investigation. Good idea. So I will move here to the Orin Library, number four in the green. And then I will attack monsters at my location for two. Now how this works is I attack, I can assign the two damage amongst monsters however I want, but there's a two and a three. So obviously I'll just do all the two here to kill. The, they don't get damage tokens, it doesn't stick around after the next attack. If, if I only damage them for one and it doesn't kill them, they just go back to full health. But if I attack at least one um, arrow monster, I attack for three instead. So I'm actually going to attack this uh, runner uh, for three instead. So I get a runner, a blue runner off the board, and this will go by the monster bag in a little discard pile. And once the monster bag is empty, then we fill it back up with the discarded monsters. Um, and that is my turn. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. My number six. Okay. Uh, versatile instrument. Move up to two times, then resolve one of the following effects. Uh, an investigator at your location recovers one health. Or attack monsters at your location for three. Ooh. So, um, I'm going to move up to no times, because I'm <laughs> up to two, and I'm just going to attack for three. And which kills which one kills. of those special monsters, which is great. He'll go back over here with the great one. Yep. And but now we have no special monsters on the board, which is awesome. And then these guys go That's good, and you cleared a gate, so that's yeah. always good. So yeah. now they can spawn. Beautiful. Here. Yep. Uh, okay, and I'm next with yep. 18 as well. Yep, now you're doing so a bottom. bottom, yeah. Uh, move up to one, then investigate your location, then two monsters spawn at your location. Eek. <laughs> Cleared <laughs> it out, but then uh, you might fill it back up unless you move. Like, yeah, but if you want to investigate... Oh, and I just so you know, since we released one, revealed one omen, we're actually going to be uh, activating a deep one, but there are none. Then we'll spawn two at that space. All right. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do it because I want to investigate. So you go to student union number two. Yep. Okay. And I got a key. Ooh. Okay, so your item of choice is. You can read that out there. <laughs> uh, the Necromonicon. Oh. Sure. Discard like this. A transformer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, discard this item before or after you resolve an action card to destroy two monsters at one location. Then you may lose one health to destroy two more monsters at another location. Wow. Okay, so keep that by your player deck somewhere. So Powerful. Yep. Powerful. And then, oh, and then I have to spawn two monsters here. Okay. So the first one is a, oh. A, a blue wrecker. A blue wrecker. Uh, two health. Yeah. And then. This is a normal one. A red. A red one. So he so will move to, out back to this spot. Yeah. That's cool. Awesome. That's the end of your turn. I'm, yeah, I'm done. Okay. So mine is move up to one time, then investigate your location. So I think I'm going to just stay where I am and I will investigate here. Okay. And I got a diamond. Beautiful. Okay. Then activate monsters in green zone one to five. So number one is... Um, oh, is he doesn't have an ability. Yeah, there's no abilities there. Number two is the student union, so we have... Wreckers are last? Yeah, so we yeah. have no killers. Killers, runners, then wreckers. So we activate. have one runner, and he's going to come this way. And then we have two wreckers, if you can pass me two. Uh, yep. So one will... So first one. Yeah, one will fill up, and then the second one will fill up and move the blue out of there, also that way. Oh, man, he's filling up okay. our, our um, spawn point over there. Number three, we only have two it. runners, which are both going to move this way. Following the blue line. And we have number four, a killer, which is actually going to hit, uh, what's your girl's name? Uh, Rita Young. Going to hit Rita Young for one. I'm down only two health left. Oh guys. my goodness. Yeah. So we and never want to reveal more than seven things. Somebody needs to heal me back. Okay. And then five. So we got a killer, but we have no one there. We got two runners in red. So both of these are going to come up here. 
And then we need uh, one X for the wrecker. Boy, oh boy, red. Okay. That's not good. So then we are uh, reckoning. reckoning. So two of these guys go up at the spawn point there. So one here. Yep. And then one will try to hit the gate there, but smash Boom. it so he's dead. And it damages the gate. That's a good okay. gate, guys. That's a good gate. So discard those cards. And now Justin's going to reveal the top gate here. I don't want it. <laughs> it's which is, so if you can put that up there. Yeah. And then okay. we'll reveal then, two monsters yep. there because there's now two spawn points. Uh, which is one of the little guys with no activation icons. <laughs> and next is a two blue runner. Okay. Oh boy. And this is going to pass to me? Sure. You can Okay. Have it. I give it to you. And that's good. So I'm good to go. <clears throat> and we now can play face up. So I will play a 12 diamond. And I will draw a new card. 12 of diamonds. 12 of diamonds. Okay. Let me see. Nine moon, one omen. <clears throat> well, that's two omens already. Uh, did you draw a card? Did you draw a card? No, did you draw I did, I did. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Guys. 15. Okay. Hourglass. Alright, so... Oh, I need one of these cards, please. Thank you. Over just in for some good luck later. All right, and then I'll go 14 with the moon. Get rid of the moon since I don't need it for later as well. Okay, okay so uh, you're first at nine. Good, I was worried. <laughs> All right, so race to stopwatch is not going to happen, which oh. would normally reveal and place the top token of the gate stack, but you don't spawn monsters if there's no gate tokens to reveal, spawn five monsters in your location instead. That would be very bad. Yeah, but, speed up the game. But right? We are going to move up to three times without using the same walkway more than once. And then I will seal one walkway that I used. Oh, that's good. So I'm thinking here, here, or here, here. Uh, that doesn't lead anywhere, does it? One. Well, reds come this way, blues could come that way. I'm not allowed to help you. Oh, one, no. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Three, and I will seal. Hmm. Doesn't look like monsters move along this one, so that's silly. Let's seal <laughs> this one. Okay. Okay. That's me. That's me. So me, or that's you. So that's me at twelve. Yep. Okay. So move up to one time, then in turn order, each investigator attacks monsters at his or her location for equal to twice the number of priority cards he or she played this round. So. Okay. So one to two for us, but she's played two priority cards, she can do up to four damage. So. Cool. I just want to kind of peek at what I'm doing here. Look okay. away. No, no, that's fine. So I just want to see where I want to be. So move up to one, and then I can do damage for up to four. So I think I'm going to follow this path here to go to the athletic facilities. Uh, and then in turn order, each investigator gets to attack monsters. So I'm first, as it's my turn. So I can attack for four, so I will just get rid of both of these for three. Yeah, I can move up to one time? I did. Oh, I did? Oh, yeah, sorry. I did. Sorry, and those were there. Yep. That's okay. Uh, and then you'll get to... Attack. Just attack on my spot, right? Yeah. No moving? Yeah. So I can do up to two damage. I will just get rid of the killer, the red killer there. And, and I will get rid of the wrecker. Ooh, good call. Oh, good call. I'm going to kill the one. Okay. That is that card. Oh, uh, 14 would be me to do my bottom, right? Yeah, I'm last. Okay. <clears throat> Move up to one time, then investigate your location. I think I'm just going to investigate where I am. Yeah, no I just, monsters there. Seems yeah. safe. Yes, hourglass. All right. Okay, yeah, I played one. and then activate monsters in the purple zone. Sorry. Uh, so so three, that is six, yeah, six. nothing. Number seven, uh, some, some running more. happening. So run, and then hits a gate. Perfect. Dies. Uh, there's nothing at eight. Nine, we just need a wreck. Boom. Yeah, and then ten, nothing. Okay, that's not terrible. Okay, yep. 
Uh, and sorry, I didn't draw my last card for my fourth. Thank you. <laughs> it's all good. Are we deciding? This, yeah. Read it out loud again. What does it say? Uh, the Necromonicon. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, discard this item before or after you resolve an action okay. card to destroy two monsters at one location. Then you may oh. lose one health to then destroy two more monsters at another location. So you're debating using this now to clear up spaces before activations might mm -hmm. start happening and things start moving around. Yeah. So you can do it after they move around or before. I want to do it before. Okay. Okay, do it before. Uh, What's looking juicy to you? No, this? Yeah. <laughs> and I can destroy two monsters? Yeah. Right? Uh, you will destroy two monsters at one location. Then you may lose one health to destroy two monsters at another location. How many of these bad boys are left? Uh, five over here. Oh, I mean like on the board? Just uh, that, well, there's what? only one. Uh, oh, yeah. Because yeah. they have six total in the game. Oh. So because you both revealed cards, <laughs> I can discuss this with you. Yep. Sure. Uh, yeah. Is it a better idea to get rid of these two or one of this one? Because I know that these can move on certain numbers when we have so many. Oh, yeah, yeah. One to two. And they activate. Well, look, we have two right now. So your call. Any two monsters. It can be special or regular. It doesn't say anything about Well, that, one, that monster would go into the gate and die. If you did move, so it's not, it's better to get rid of two other ones and let that guy die by himself. Yeah, let's let him activate. Sure. Yeah. Okay, we'll get rid of the two higher ones. Okay. Okay. And then yeah, because they're harder to kill, right? Because they're two damage versus the one damage. Now, I, yeah. I could lose a health and do it again and remove two more from somewhere, but. Um, Are there any threats you're worried about? Uh, well, this, but you can't really do anything about it. Here, there's no spaces, but they would just move and die, or this here to create space, but. I don't really want to lose my okay. health yet. Okay, that's fine. So that flip works. your card. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Uh, move up to one, then investigate your location. So I'm here. Mm-hmm. Um, that way, this, oh, this way here. We'll just do that. Going to the quad? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh, clover. clover. Yeah. Okay. And then um, activate monsters in the orange zone, 11 to 15. All right. So, so 11. 11, we right just here. need a killer, wrecker. Killer, nothing happens. Oh, yeah. Wrecker is going to, because there's no investigator there, and the wrecker's going to destroy space. 12, nobody's home. 13, no one's home. 14, we got a blue guy trying to move down to our place, but thanks to Mel's early seal, he runs into it and destroys himself. Awesome. And 15 up here, our spawn point, we got a blue guy coming down here to chill in the athletic facilities. And that guy doesn't activate. Okay. Cool beans. So this athletic guy is going to eventually come down into here, yes. into our spawn, or our ritual location. I wonder if I can do something about that. Okay. Reckoning? Uh, yeah. So we will uh, discard these cards, but how many do we have? Two. Two. Two omens. So that means we activate that guy over there, you're saying, but yep. he runs in and breaks that seal since it was already damaged. And pass those over, so he goes back here. Those are discarded. Yeah, this is gone. This is gone. These are gone. And these are back here. Oh, these go actually on the board. Spawning <coughs> here. So just activate each deep one in any order, then spawn two deep ones in the that gate. Okay, and now we're spawning the gate. Uh, yes. We are activating this uh, one. This one, science, science building. building. Oh, so we okay. are going to draw two. That's okay, guys. Yeah, that's not terrible. One monster. Thank you. And he is just a single weenie. blue. <laughs> and we got a killer red. Oh, one health. Okay, then I will pass this to you. Sweet. Okay. And we will go again. I'll play 10 Hourglass. Okay. We're playing um, a one Clover. Whoa. <laughs> you want to go to that? That's two, three Omens revealed. Yeah. Woo. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't draw a card. Higher. And you draw a card. Bump it up higher. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> it's playing the cards face down, or we can get a star spawn on the board. Smashing up buildings. Okay. Five hourglass, two omens. Okay, that's higher. <laughs> but I don't want everyone to lose two health, and right? I need, I need. So what are we at? Five omens? Yeah. We can go six and we're okay. Yeah. It's still spawning a guy, but we can't go seven or higher. I control this. You do control Do I have that option? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see my... I don't have all double omens in hand. Yeah, we don't want you to die. So what's Sorry. the already? A one, a five, and a ten. So you guys are tanking me to the late game here. 
<laughs> You're welcome. Which is fine, I think. Yeah, I think that's okay. So let's see, what is sucky? And I can only do one omen. So I'll do a moon 19 with one omen. Oh, that's a good one. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah. <laughs> You're first with one. And I'll draw a card. Did you draw a card? Yeah. I got yeah. Up to four? Okay. yeah. All right, there's my one. Yeah, let's see what was so, one you were omen. so excited about. Uh, move up to one time, then attack monsters. Your little, okay, so it's called the Prophetic Dreams. Okay. Ooh. Move up to uh, up to one time, then attack monsters your location for two. Okay. If you are two omen on the priority card, uh, you played this action, attack for four instead. So, uh, yeah, moving here. Okay, you're going to I'm the library? Gonna, yeah, here. And then I'm just attack attack for four? For four, yeah. Wow, oh, oh, cleared the library. Yeah. He came in there wrecking with his guitar. Yeah. Jeepers, that's it? Yeah. Okay, so now me at five. Uh, move up to one time, then attack monsters at your location for two. And then choose another investigator. You and that investigator each draw one priority card and then discard one priority card. Well, that's cool. Okay, that's so cool I can thing. move up to one space. I'm just trying to kind of get around some things that we need to search. I think maybe I'll go to the student union and kind of come down here. It's the fastest way. You know, that sounds like a good idea to me because I'm the one who's going to give you advice. Yeah, but I think that's the fastest way to kind of come this way. So I would 100% agree. So, okay. And then uh, choose another investigator. You and that investigator. You get to attack for two. Oh, attack for two. Oh, yeah. So that just gets rid of him. Uh, And then uh, choose an investigator. You and that investigator. Each draw one priority card and then discard one priority card. Let's do... I cannot talk strategy. I have not revealed <laughs> any cards. But I can talk strategy. Is it a good thing for you or not a good thing for you? Because I can give it to Rob if not. Well, let me see. Let me look at my cards here. And uh, uh, mm, Well, I don't think I needed it. Okay, me and Rob. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you draw first. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Interesting. I mean, we are All right, right, and then we discard one. <clears throat> I'll discard a twenty-four moon with double omens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna discard a twenty-six double omen with a clover and hope it's not a clover. <laughs> I'm gonna <leave> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you get to and shuffle the deck now. No, yeah. I'm gonna go to drop. Yeah, not yet. Okay, so that was more stuff could go in the discard pile. That was me, and now you're doing right, both your bottoms. Ten. Uh, let's go first. Number ten initiative, and move up to one time. Then investigate your location. Uh. Uh, I'll leave that one there. Yeah, I'll come get that. Uh, but where can I move from the hall? Down to here. Yeah. All right, so we'll go to the auditorium and get a... Oh, now our glasses are garbage. Ooh. It's awesome. Oh. Awesome. Dang it. Well, luckily I played one. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's just make Then uh, activate monsters in the orange zone. 11 to 15. 11. Killer. Nope. Uh, wrecker. destroyer wrecker guy here is going to smash this, and since there's no space for him to hang out, he's going up. He's going to actually go to our ritual space. Uh -oh. Dun dun dun. Next is twelve, uh, but he's already activated, so we don't worry about him. You can tilt him a few degrees there, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, then we will go thirteen. 13. Uh, this guy will move, also oh, no. chilling into our ritual space. Not good. Uh, then we'll go to fourteen. This guy just chills there. Fifteen chills there. That is all of them. Yeah. So these guys are ready up here. Damn, son. Yeah, that's, wow. that's bad. We're all chilling over here on the other side of the board. All right. Just got to keep those paths clear. Uh, okay. Next action. Then number 19 card here. We're going to go move one time, then investigate your location. Let's see here. Where can I move? Did I go the wrong way? No, I think you went your only option. Not really. I could have just stayed where I went, but now I should back. just move back. Yeah. yeah. That was kind of dumb. Nah, it's okay. Same outcome. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm just in a different spot, though. I could have been here. Okay. Uh, then... What's your item? I got the Elder Sign. Discard this item after you draw a priority card to discard... Or to draw four additional priority cards, then discard four priority cards. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. I'll use that later when we really know what we're looking for, mm -hmm. for sure. And I'll use it to filter my hand even more. Okay, that's all of our cards done, right? So yep. we will then... Uh, do the reckoning. So how many Two, omens we got? Four. Six. six. All right. So we'll discard all these. And that does a warning and nightmare. We spawn one star. Spawn at this cube looking the cube-looking gate. Yes. He will go here. 
And then we activate one star spawn of our choice. He is our only choice. So he will do double reckon and he's going to have to move out of that space on the blue long over to here, the auditorium. Okay. So he's going to start reducing the amount of monster spaces on the board quickly if he's not dealt with. Yeah. Okay. That gate time. is that. Discard player cards. Uh, gate flip here. And it is the star space in the sorority row up here. Now there's three there. Uh -oh. So we got to get three monsters out of the bag. Well, three doesn't fit, so that's a problem. Uh -oh. One is a blue killer for one. And a, another blue killer for two. And that's... <laughs> whoa. Uh, final is a red killer for one, and that will put him moving over to here. All right. And now Justin's first player. That's the lead investigator token. There you go. Oh, boy. <laughs> 20, 23 star, which I wanted to save. But. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play two diamond. I will play... Oh. I think this is terrible. 16 Clova. 29 Moon. Okay. Right. So I'm two. first with two. I didn't want dun, dun. I didn't want to do my bottom at all, so I have to do my top. Uh, move up to one time, seal a walkway connected to your location. So I don't even really need to, I don't really want to even do this. But so resolve the following effects in any order. You can move. Or seal, or seal a walkway, then move. Your choice. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to do the move, obviously. It says up to one space. Right. I don't need to seal this walkway. There's nothing. Nothing on this one. This one, I could reseal, I mm. guess. No, you can't even do that. So I... <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I would like to discuss strategy, but I cannot. <laughs> oh, connected to my location. Okay. So... I'm going to move here. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to get me to do. Okay. And then I'm going to seal here. Okay. No, no, here. There, yeah. <laughs> that's what she pointed at. I didn't, I wasn't looking. I know, I know, but that's why I'm paying attention. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's all. All right. 16. Yeah. What my, did you want me to do? My card's are real. I'll talk strategy. <laughs> this, this, this. One here. Seal. Yeah, yeah. So you can, uh, every time they spawn, if we get blues, or bloop. But then how do I move that? Oh, I'd have to move here. Oh, and then sorry. Seal. Yes, sorry. That's oh, there's not no connected. adjacent. Yeah. Never mind. I, but I could have moved here. Still good. Still then... good what you did. That's for sure. Okay. Sorry. My bad. I keep forgetting <laughs> the arrows. Yeah. Up. No, no, no. All right. So this is, I'm going second right. So yep. top card. Move up to two times and attack monster at your location for two. But if I attack a <laughs> runner, I can attack for three instead. Ooh. Uh, where am I? I'm here. One. Oh, let's do two and go to the science building to try to clear out some space for future spawning monsters. Future sciencey things. Yeah. Yes. Sounds good. And that's that. Okay. 23. Both bottoms for you. I know. That's fine. I planned this. Move up to one time, then investigate your location. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Place right. Yep. A star. Star. Oh. oh, that's helpful, but not. Yeah, yeah. I like when it eliminates right. things. And then activate monsters in six to ten. Six to ten. Six. Is blue? Yep. Yep, goes runs into the seal. Yep, dead. Destroyed. Okay. That was six. So seven is here. So we just need two. Oh, it's records. Our star spawn. Smashing and up spaces. He's nice going to come there. up there. Okay. Uh, seven, eight has nothing. Nine, Nine. we need a wrecking. Oh. And red and is going to fall this path down here. Okay. Oh, and ten. You're good. Uh, okay, there we go. <clears throat> Move up to one time, then investigate your location. Okay, where do you want to go? Well, I can only go, uh, can go this go. way, this way, and that's it. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Which uh, direction? Let's uh, let's go that way, actually. Yeah. Oh, trying to go back to the home base and clear yeah, things yeah, out. Yeah, I gotta Thanks. go and protect things. Yeah. And then eleven to fifteen. Uh, activate monsters eleven to fifteen. Uh, where you are. So the killers oh, actually damage yeah. you for one. Okay, that's fine. that's fine. And then at a home base, uh, wrecker. <sighs> Blocks not good at all. He can't move. Runner's so. not going to leave. Yep. I should have done that in the other order, but it didn't matter. And then 13, nothing. 14, not moving. This one up here, killers, no one to kill. So they're good. Okay. And all right, so how many omens we got? Yeah. One. So you activate the deep ones in any order you wish. Well, they're both going to die. 
Yeah, so just run into the seal, damage yeah. the seal, then oh, kill the seal. I protected you guys. Protect no, I'm us? just kidding. I didn't protect anybody. You saw it coming. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, then but we spawn I... two deep ones at that <laughs> gate. <laughs> okay. At least those other ones died. This is true. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and now you're going to do your gate things. Stargate. Damn it. <laughs> That's four, four spawning there so <laughs> no. close to our And home. it's full. Here we go. Oh gosh. Red. red. Okay. One. That's uh, good. It goes this way. Okay. That's so, good. More red. More red. More red. Red. Yeah. Runner. Yeah, yeah. This way. Here. Take it. More red. More red. <laughs> uh, a yeah. three red wrecker. It's coming all the way down what? here. Awesome. <coughs> okay. And finally. A blue. A red runner. Oh three. wow. Oh here. So it goes all the way down That's here. That's funny. Damn it up that spawn point I was trying to clear out. All right. And then move it. And then yeah, move to me. Yeah. Okay. You need to keep your health. One, two, bro. three, four. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, and that didn't make us have to play our cards upside down, right? We're good? Uh, no. Okay. I'm going to go 11 Clover. Nine Moon. One Omen. Seven, two oh, omens. You guys are no good. <clears throat> one of these, please. Thanks. Uh, okay, then I will choose 25 hourglass. Oh, I almost flipped my cards around way. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Okay, so seven, Justin, go ahead. Oh, I'm first? Nice. Yeah. All right. Prophetic dreams. Move up to one time, then attack monsters at your location for two. If there are two omens on your priority card, you play this action. Attack for four instead. Here we go. Uh, attack Boom, for four. four. Clears wow. those monsters out. Mm -hmm. Good man. Go. I'm trying to save us, guys. All right, Rob. I'm trying to save us. Uh, okay, number nine. So it was race to stopwatch again. I did not want to reveal the top little token oh, here to try. speed us up. So that's why I played a nine. And then you were like, oh no, you're going before me. <laughs> He's going before me. But I'm like, I need to go early. Uh, okay, so move up to three times again without using the same walkway more than once. Then seal one walkway that you used. So here's the problem. I see clue tokens down this direction and I'm the only one on this side of the board. So I kind of feel like I have to go that way. And sealing stuff down here is maybe not the greatest. Obviously sealing stuff up in this little blue corridor leading here. Uh, but yeah. we have you up covering the side, so I'm just going to risk it. Yeah, don't go for and... the clues, man. I don't think you should go for the clues. I think you should seal it, mainly because this is full, and that is full, and this is full. And this is just all going to funnel down this way. <laughs> I know I could probably fight up there, most likely, like I probably can. But do you think, well, I guess we get one more clue, and then we have uh, a... Th three more rounds-ish. But that clue, if it's not, like, an item, and, item and a clue, yeah. where's the other one? Is there another one, or no? No, no. it'll just be one. Because it'll be because all we need is one more spot here, and then we know what these two are. Oh, okay, yes, that's correct. So if I get lucky and and lift up the one on a future round, then we we know one hundred percent what it is. And then we can I can filter with my card, and we can really go for it. So I am gonna say screw your monsters. All hope right, that doesn't I'll take protect us. the sanctuary. Hope it doesn't take us. So I will. Let me just think of my move here. I'll protect the sanctuary. Uh, sanctuary. So I'm close down here, moving yeah, just here. Just go to the bottom. That would seal here, but these guys are never really leaving. So how many times can oh, you move? Oh, but I can three? seal, yeah, up to three. Let me do this one. One, two, three. Yeah, Chill yeah. here. I will then seal, so which way is the blue guys going? So I can seal this one, this one, or this one. I think I'm going to seal this one. Because oh. blue that spawn here would leave this way. And you have a good chance of getting one of yes. these because we already have four of these right so now. I'm going right? to seal this spot here. Okay, and that is me. Okay. Love it. I don't even know what's going on. You're pretty does. safe. You're not going to get eaten. So far. Keep All right. Oh, three blocks, man. Yeah, yeah. Move up to one time, then investigate your location. Okay. Well, I cannot. You work right out of this one. Yeah, that would be helpful. Yes. And that is one, uh, two movements away. Okay. So let's move down to the science building. And then we're uh, activating the green one to five. Here. 
So blues. Here. Uh, one. Here. Both are going to move to the same spot. Yeah. And then pass them up. the red is coming down and then going down and then going here and here. then going here. here. And then, oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That Flying was, around the board. <laughs> that was one. Two, nothing happens. Three, Quad, nothing. nothing. Four, nothing. This guy already came here, so we ignore him. Yep. Sorry. And then five. Uh, so killer first. Nobody there. Wrecker. We'll go with this guy. He wants to wreck and then move to here. Can't move there. Moves to here. Uh, so he will wreck a space. And then the wrecker, red wrecker is going to do the same thing, but he's going to go this way to there. Okay. That's uh, that. Lots of wrecked spots on this board. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, move up to, oh, uh, sorry. Uh, move up to one, then investigate your location. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to the observatory. Not a key. Key! No! Uh, but that might be awesome. Let's Tell us see. what it is. <clears throat> what have you won, Mel? Glass of Mortland. Sounds Dis great. Discard this item before you draw your action card to look at the top three of your action deck. Discard any number of them and return the rest to the top of the deck in any order. So, you can, so I can set up you my... You only have two cards left, <laughs> so you'll get to do those so if you do it I can set then. up my next move. Okay, and then activate monsters in the orange zones, 11 to 15. So this killer can't kill anyone. 12, no one home. 13, they want to run into our... Oh, the ritual spot. That's oh my fine. gosh. It's okay. And then 14, not doing anything. And 15, killers can't be killing. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I will take All right, care of it. Discarding these, we have three omens. Yep, so, oh, we'll be playing the next cards face down. Oh, no, Lead no, Lead investigator no. loses one health. Oh, no. Okay. It's okay. We're trying to keep Rob alive. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay. So don't do seven or more in the instant Before. tank. And I'm going to do my gate. You're going to get this. So we are going to the cube gate. So we have three there. So first one. Red. So... I have to then put the discard pile back in the bag since that was the last one in there. Okay. Throwing them in. And then we're drawing two more. Mixing them up. One. Blue. Red. So we knew this red went to here, so then he's going here. And Blue. a red one color. All right. There we go. <coughs> All right. All right. Starting the new turn. Yep. I'm nervous. Oh, me too. We just gotta make it to the end. It if we can make it to the end. Right now. Yeah, I know. If you guys play too many damn omens, that's what I'm scared of. Ready? Yep. Reveal. Twenty and seventeen. I got an hourglass and a diamond. No omens. Nineteen. Uh, four and a moon. One. One omen. omen. All right. So worst case, we're doing some deep one spawning, but that could be bad. Uh, okay. Well, Just, Justin's there, so hopefully you're at uh, first. Oops, I never drew a <coughs> card. That's all right. Yes. All right, four. Rocking and rolling. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're cool. first. Vision of the end times. Ooh. Oh. What do you see? Move up to one time. Uh, if there are two omens on the priority card you played, which there is not, you may move to any uh, location instead. Okay, then seal one walkway connected to your location. Okay. Uh, right there. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping it's the right play. <laughs> Cover the arrow. Yeah. All right. All right. And that's that. Uh, seventeen. Uh, I don't know if I want to go later or later. I was just trying not to play omens. So I didn't <laughs> want to die. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So I'm going top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In turn order, each investigator uh, moves up to one time, then attack monsters at your location for two. So, in turn order, so I can choose to move first. So let me see. Mm, I don't really want to move. I like where I am. But do I want to go anywhere to attack? Is anywhere important to attack instead? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, well, my only way out is this path, so I'll go here to the quad. Uh, your turn to move, Justin. If you'd like to move up to one time, go ahead. If you'd like to stay where you are, go ahead. I don't get to attack or anything? Nope. Okay, well, I'm going to move back here then. Yeah, it just says in one sentence, in turn order, each of us here moves up to one time. Sure. And another sentence, then attack monsters at your location for two. I think it's just helping other people move. Yeah. I think it's better that I'm there at the sanctuary. Um, I need to get out of here, so we're going here. Okay, so I'll attack for two here. Yep. And I will take out a killer and one of these blue. Good call. Guys. <laughs> Good call. Good call. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he doesn't yes. want to take damage. He's almost dead. Uh, mm -hmm. Then 19. Me? <clears throat> All right. 
Uh, move up to one time, then investigate your location, then spawn two monsters at your location. Ooh. That's all I have. Where can I go that it won't hurt us? But oh. since we did do rising time, we'll be putting two of those blue guys, the runners there, who will most likely just run into this gate. Mm -hmm. So it's not the worst, but... <clears throat> okay. So I'll go to here. And then spawn two monsters at your location. Man, I really wanted to get to here. I there you go. So look at that. Nah, I think we got this. All right, blue runner and blue wrecker. All right. Okay. Uh, number 20? Yep. Last What's card. your 19. last card? Okay. That was okay, four. It's just me. Yeah, just you. Okay. Let's do bottom card, right? Yep. Move one time, then investigate your location. I will move one time. Investigate. Ah, Star. It. So it's Diamond and Clovers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but we all have to agree if we want to do the guessing, the ritual crap at the end of the turn. Otherwise, you have to wait till another round or until we're at the eighth token. But there's only two left. So it'll either be at the end of this round or the end of next. So now the clock is on to get the cards needed in your hand. So that way we have enough to reverse the ritual. Okay, that is discarded. All these cards. Uh, oh, sorry, I have to activate all monsters at the green zones. One okay. to five. Uh, green one. So if you can do that, Justin. Yep. So runner first. Uh, hits the gate. Dead. Okay, then we need our X for the wrecker. Uh, right here. Okay, that was one, two, nothing happens. Killers, yep. Three, Three nothing. Four. four uh, we have... Uh, runners first, so they both go okay. up to here. Yeah, and then two wrecking. Uh, okay. And then five is good. Okay. All right. This board's getting out of control. So do you have to, you have to do your gate first? Oh, we have uh, to discard these. Yep. And then that does how many omens? Two. two. So that will uh, do the rising tide, activate each deep one. So they're at home, so they're not going to do anything. Then we put two up in that place up at the top. One goes there, one runs, and busts into the <coughs> seal. Oops, it's gone. Okay. Yep, it busts to the seal, and it's gone. <laughs> okay. That's then. Right. That was a good seal. Do uh, you do this first, or? Yeah. Yes, and then Please. at the end. Please. Uh, so it's the radioactive one in the top. Oh, my goodness. Which is goodness. three monsters. One. Red. Killer. Down. Okay, down. Okay. A red wrecker. So that'll follow the path to there. One more, one more. Red, red, red. Blue, Blue. Okay. wrecker. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, they're so close, though. The next blues are okay. going tank us. And then, it then it would be Justin, but now, do we want to guess the ritual? Uh, I say yes. No, I'm... Hold on. I am not in agreement. Oh, we all have to be in agreement? So total, so we'll reveal three cards each. Mm-hmm. Then we have to see six cards total, and they have to have di either diamonds or clovers on them total to win. And at least six. Not in grids. Okay. Okay. Would you have been in agreements? 50 50. <laughs> I want to see two yeses from you guys before I say yes. We're going to die now. You know that, right? <laughs> well, I'll play cards and make sure we clear some space out for monsters to land. Okay. Uh, I have to shuffle this. Here first. Let's see, I only have one card left. Yeah, I'm gonna. This doesn't really. Well, I guess it would. You could just draw this. We would say shuffle that. Yeah, you draw the three cards, right? So well, I have to. It's before I do it, so I'd have to shuffle. Before you draw action, look at the top three cards. Oh, okay. So you so have one card. It'd be this one, and then I'd shuffle to look at the two. No, I don't no? think so. It doesn't say draw them, right? Oh. So discard this item before you draw an action card to look at the top three cards of your action deck. So you only have one card in the top, so you look at it. You can either put it back there or discard it. Then when you go to draw, you would shuffle back up. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. So. Maybe I could do that just to set yeah, something up. If you don't like that card. <clears throat> so here we go. But it's the last turn to use it. So. Yeah, mine's low. Okay. Just tanking a star. Three drawing star. a new one. Hopefully it's something we need. So I'm going to get rid of this. Clover or a diamond you're looking for. So I'm going to yep. discard this item before you draw your action. Okay? Yep. And then you look at it. You decide if you want to keep it or put it in your discard. And then you can then shuffle up and draw a new one if you want. Yes, I will put in my discard, and then I will shuffle. And do a new card. I'll start reading my card to get ready. I'll also read my card just uh, to get ready. 
Okay. So priority is <clears throat> Yes. 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 Six clover. I just want to go super early, eh? I'll do 13 star. Okay. And then when I draw, I'll discard this item. So discard this item after you draw a priority card to draw four additional cards. There's only three, so I will shuffle up. And then you discard four. So I'm kind of like filtering my hand here. One more, and now I look to see clovers and diamonds. Show me clovers and diamonds. Clovers and diamonds. <laughs> and do you discard the rest, or do you? Oh, you yeah. Do you discard. Them? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, Justin, what are you gonna do? One more card to play. I know. All right, I'm good. We got thirteen. Six. Thirteen star, no omens. No omens, we don't want to kill. Trying to lose health here. Yeah. Just in case a uh, killer comes and tries to smoke me. All no right. omens, no omens, okay? Okay, no All bad right. omens. You're okay. first. Go I'm ahead, first. my friend. Number okay. three. Kill some monsters. Attack monsters at your location or adjacent location yes. for two, then move up to two times. Yes! Clear yes. the ritual! Need I mean, to. I'm not talking strategy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my plan anyway. It's fine. Oopsies. <laughs> it's fine. I will clear this. Um, then move up to two times. Ooh. Look at this card. Oh, no strategy. <laughs> uh, this, I, I'm is that the game is so up? hard? Yeah. I'm last. This doesn't matter. So how many omens we got showing? Two? two. So we're for sure doing um, the activate the deep ones in any order, which there is one. One. There. Yeah, one. And then we put I don't think I have to move. <clears throat> Then move up to two times. Sure, I'll just go um, here, like, whatever. So you went through here to One, here? One, two, yeah. Okay. Well, let's just chill with me. me. Yeah, let's chill with Rob. Okay, now me? I don't know, you? You're done? Yeah. Okay. Resolve the following effects in any order. Move up to one time and seal a walkway connected to your location. So, I will seal a walkway here. And then I can move one time. Um, I think I, I think I'm fine there. No one's gonna hit me. So. Since I've already played a card, you can only really move here. Yeah. Without getting hurt. It's fine. I'll stay where I am. <laughs> okay. okay. What number is next? I was six. Uh, Thirteen. 13. Yeah. Lucky number thirteen. So I'm doing the bottom. Move up to one time, then investigate your location. So I was trying to do the top. Move up to two times, but this is the lowest card. Uh, then I attack monster at two, trying to hit a runner for three. Uh, so I move one time and investigate your location. But I didn't want to activate Sorry. monsters. I didn't get my second card. Uh, yes, Sorry, it's important. You. It is important. Okay, so I will just move to one time. I don't think it matters. I think staying where I am is good. Then I activate monsters in locations yeah, 11 nice. through mm -hmm. 15 in the orange zone. Uh, so here, killer, nothing. 12, nobody home. 13, uh oh. Uh -oh. So then you just start wrecking. So. <clears throat> Um, how do we want to do this? We've ran out of wrecking, but maybe we can just use like these seal tokens here. Let's use these keys. Actually, oh, okay, yeah, now. yeah. Because they say you can't run out. You got to find suitable things. Like they didn't give us enough tokens here, which is kind of silly. Uh, so these wreckers will both wreck, and they're gonna move one. The blue will move here, the but red the red one. will move up here. Okay. Those are wrecking tokens. Ooh. That was thirteen, but let oh let's do that because he's. Not going to activate yep, yep. now for 14. And 14, then so nothing. And then 15, 15 nothing. nothing. Okay, that was good. Not bad. Not bad. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, that's fine. That's fine? Okay. Move up to one time, then investigate. Yeah, okay. So stay there. Okay. And, and then, then 6 to 10. Activate 6, six to, to 10. 10. Oh. So the six. Purple. Double wreck. Yep. Uh, so. So do we have more keys? Uh, no, we got seals, though. We got okay. one key, but. Let's just throw. Because it's going to put both, because he's okay, a double. So let's just drop a seal there to block okay, off so the space. Blue, right? Yep. Blue, 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 yep. dead. Both of them are doing the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so that seal's busted. Okay. <clears throat> six. 
Yep, seven. Seven, nothing. Eight. Eight. These guys are going to move this a, uh, red. red. Both of them are red, so they're going to follow the same path. Boom. Boom. Two. One's wrecking, right? Oh, shoot, sorry, yeah. Wait, here, so he doesn't. One first. So the runner goes first. Let's do the runner. So yeah. red, uh, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay, and then one wrecking. Sorry, I thought that they were both runners. I don't know what I'm seeing. These glasses. Uh, yeah, I know. And then number nine, nothing. And number ten, nothing. Okay. We made it this far. Well, <laughs> well let's see what happens. Okay, so discarding our omen cards, we have two. So pass them up. Uh, so oh, we activate no. the uh, yellow runner there. Um, the deep so one. So it's going to go along the blue, blue path. Down. Yeah. And then, oh. No, it's fine. So then we spawn two more at right that space. So one goes in it. Yeah, and one will go there. And, and we're other fine. One chills here. As long as that's it. <laughs> oh, but this. <laughs> this right in here is going to okay. break us. So this is Justin's activating our radioactive Last spot for monsters. Well, we're 100% dead because there's not one space that a monster can go in. <laughs> we filled the whole board? Yeah. Wait, wait, what if it's red? It doesn't matter. Where is it going to go? Blue. Oh. Regular dude. <laughs> Dead. Tries to go here, kills us. Aww. So on easy. <laughs> Boo. On easy. We lost to Cthulhu. We let the wreckers wreck us by filling up the board. So we need to prioritize killing wreckers to have any chance on this one. Yeah. We got really lucky getting all the clues, but I think we focused more on clues than killing. And the wreckers toasted us. So it's like this fine balance of killing wreckers, runners... Or killers at the right time to make sure you don't die or they don't flood you. Yeah. And as you saw, we run out of record tokens. That obviously was what we <laughs> did not. That wasn't the fire we put out at all. We put out other fires like clue tokens and item tokens, but we didn't handle that. So we lost. We lost. So this game is crazy, awesome, fast, chaotic. Love yeah. it. Um, so that is it for our playthrough. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, mm -hmm. follow the channel, hit that bell button. We're definitely going to take this game back on the table again. We'll try it two player, maybe four player. Try some of the different old ones. There's two more old ones that come in the set. There's also uh, normal and hard difficulty for each one. Oh my hard. god. <laughs> uh, on top of easy, so we can try that. Uh, if you guys have played this, leave down below what you did, what your strategy was, how you dealt with Cthulhu on easy. Did you lose the first couple times you played? <laughs> Uh, this is actually our third time playing. We have won only once out of the three. Um, and the first way we lost was someone dying yes. of health. Yes. And the second time we actually won, yep. but we had lost two of our round tokens, our, our, our um, spawn tokens. We lost early on card effects from Rita Young, so we actually only had six turns in the game to do it. And we just did a Hail Mary guess and actually got lucky <laughs> and had just enough to solve and reverse the ritual. So this game is really cool, really chaotic. The rules aren't too complex. It's a great game, I think. You guys like it? Yeah. It's fun. I like it. Definitely a good, like good entryway into the Arkham Horror uh, theme and world. But yeah, stick around, hit that bell, and hit that thumbs up. And definitely stick around for Rob's Gaming Table, because we will be doing more playthroughs of this game. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.